Okay, this is 500 bucks. This is not just a pair of active noise canceling wireless headphones. These are also Xbox gaming headsets. They will work for Xbox Series S or Series S. These are the BioPlay portal from Bang & Olufsen. And honestly, I, mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I can't think of spending $500 for a gaming headset, but I wanted to give this a fair chance to see if it brings a lot of things to the table. Does it give me that high-end audio that sounds so supreme? And does it fulfill my needs as a gamer while playing on my Xbox Series X or Series S? So this is supposed to be a child of two worlds. Now, this of course has Bluetooth connectivity and direct wireless connectivity to your Xbox. Now, in terms of features, the headset, it looks like a standard BO Play headset, like your H9 or H7 from Bang & Olufsen. Nice build altogether. You've got that soft padding, there's leather all around it, which is pretty cool. Now, when you look at the headset directly, the right ear cup has the controls for your power and Bluetooth. There's volume controls, there's a headphone jack, there's a 3.5 mm cable. Uh, battery life should last you closer to about, you know, roughly around 25 hours or so, uh, all dependent. Uh, and on the left ear cup, you do have your voice and chat mixer or your active noise cancellation. So you've got all this functionality built in. So the first thing I did and decided was to, you know, take it out and use it to listen to music because these are high-end headphones. They're 500 bucks, just like the AirPods Max, right, in the same range. And I took it out, I went to the city, I jumped to the subway, tried out the active noise cancellation, and honestly, I wasn't impressed. It didn't do a good job because I wish I recorded this because I was sitting down on the train. I could hear everything from a conversation from a dad and his daughter who were sitting across from me. And I looked across, there was a guy sitting with his Sony XM4s and I felt jealous because I could have been wearing my XM4s on the train. That's something that I just didn't appreciate with the active noise cancellation, especially at this price point. Just didn't do a good job for me. So I really wasn't impressed with that. Now, in terms of the audio, the audio is good. It's solid while listening to music. You can go through the EQs within the application. You can actually set it to either warm, bright, more bass, all that stuff, but it still feels very electronic. Doesn't feel really natural to it. Now you can set custom EQs and you can also go through and change your app, your ANC to transparency mode and things like that. And I do like the app, but in terms of the musical quality, I would say it's average at best and doesn't feel like 500 bucks. So with that in mind, how does it pair when you're gaming, right? So we talked about using it on the road and it's been okay. How about when playing on your Xbox Series X, right? Or your Series S. Now it pairs directly to your console with that pair button on the left ear cup and it works really nice. I like the pairing mode. I like the fact that it, it works really well. I also like that you've got those controls that map over for volume and voice chat uh, for whichever way you want to use them. Now, on the Xbox, it sounds really good. Dolby Atmos also works with it as well. You're getting some really nice, good, robust sound. So all in all, the Xbox experience is solid, but it's nothing mind-blowing, and it's nothing different from even the Xbox $100 headset. So it doesn't take me away and say, this is something that I'm truly impressed with. Now we're left with one more thing, the microphone. How well does a microphone sound? So. Instead of me like giving you rough examples or explaining, how about you take a listen for yourself as I actually record right here using the microphone off the uh, BioPlay portal. It's, uh, it's an okay mic. It's, it's nothing too crazy. Uh, it's something that as you're hearing, you can see the difference in the microphone quality as I switch from, from my lapel mic to, to the microphone on this headset. Now, for what you're paying for, again, I have some reservations and I think a lot of people will while using this headset altogether. Now, with the, with the packaging, you get a USB Type-C cable for charging and you also get a 3.5 mm cable. You don't get a carrying case and that's pretty much all you get with it. You, you guys know where I'm going with this because I feel I feel cheated somehow with this headset because on the one hand, I wanted to get premium audio, which I normally expect from Bang & Olufsen. I love Bang & Olufsen. I have a pair on my wall, but I didn't get it with this headset. I didn't get that premium feel. Yes, it has Aptex HD and Aptex audio, but it didn't feel like it was giving me the best. On the other hand, with the Xbox, I felt like it gave me a solid performance, but nothing air shattering for me to go 
this will make me spend that kind of money. So I have to clearly tell you that, look, spending $500 on these pair of headphones for the Xbox Series X or Series S, or even just to listen to music is absolutely not worth it. Don't waste your time. The other headset to pick up, yeah, if you wanna check out some uh, active noise cancelling headphones, I have a video on that you can check out. You can even pick up the AirPods Max, dare I say, oh my God. Or if you wanna get just a gaming headset, there's so many options to pick from, including the Xbox $100 headset. So go check out those videos. Don't pick this up and always enjoy your entertainment.